Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com. This tutorial will look at the sum product function in Excel. Now in Excel, when you have a list of data like I have on the spreadsheet in front of me now, one common technique and very useful skill is being able to work with multiple criteria. Now obviously a very common thing in Excel is to add up ranges of values to count ranges of values, so on and so forth. But very commonly, you'll need to work with multiple criteria, such as X salesperson in X month, or X salesperson selling a specific product. You need to work with at least two, three, four, possibly uh, criterias. Now, there's, there's different functions in Excel that will help you work with this. Uh, you have database functions that are very powerful. You also have functions like SUMIF and COUNTIF and in later versions SUMIFs. So there is always more than one approach. For the purpose of this tutorial we are going to look at the SUM PRODUCT function. A function that comes out so that you can add up values based on multiple criteria. Now the SUM PRODUCT function is so useful it's kind of expanded across that use over its years. You will find many websites such as computer gaga but you will find others that mention so many other useful techniques and you know uses for this some product function it's really evolved uh, you know, as much as any other function over the years and so so many different uses we're going to look at a couple of uses for it now a couple of basic usages what i would like to do is i would like to find out uh, how much the amount that's been brought in by the salesperson called Dodds for selling products of the category of seafood. So I'm just going to put in a little heading just where I'm at the moment. I'm going to put Dodds for seafood. And I'm going to write a sum product function uh, to return the answer for me. So I'm going to put equal sum product. And we're opening parenthesis. And you can see that some product function takes uh, multiple arguments there. Each one is in an array. Uh, where it just needs the, the range of cells and the criteria that you want to use. So for our first array, which we need to put inside some parenthesis, I'm going to select the 799 cells in that column, as we can see up above now. B2 to B800, that hold the, hold the salesperson. And I'm going to type equals, and in double inverted commas, because it is text, dots. This is my first array in brackets, I've got B2 to B800 for dots, if that equals dots. Now after that, I'm going to put a multiply symbol. And I'm going to start putting my other array. You can think of the multiply symbol as the AND operator. This is AND logic that I'm using. So in column B, you have to see Dodds. And then in column E, you'll need to see the word seafood. And if they both exist, then add it up. Which is what I'm going to work on now. I'm going to select that range. And say equals to seafood. Of course, I've got my second array here. It's column E equal to seafood. And I could go on. Now, I could say is the order date this, is the country this. The really powerful thing about some products is you don't really have a limit. You can put as much as you want. I'm going to do one more in this case because I want to add up the order amounts. So I better include that. It's another multiply symbol. And then another pair of parentheses. It's another array. I'm just going to select... That range. Now it's important to make sure that each range is the same dimension. So uh, B2 to B800 and column E from row 2 to 800 and G from 2 to 800. They need to be the same dimension, the same height, the same width. Um, now that is it. Now really what's going on here is every time it will find dots in column B, it will have a value of 1 or value of true. Every time it doesn't, it will have false or zero. 
Now we'll do the same to E and then the same for G. Row in G it will record the actual value we can see inside the cell. So for example, if it did find these, then in the first array it will come up with number one. And in the second array it will come up with number one. And in the last array it will come up with a value, i.e. 2000. So what's one multiply one multiply 2000? Oh, it's 2000. And if it doesn't find one of them, maybe it found Dodds for number one, but not seafood, so zero. And then for uh, column G, because we're using our end logic, it will not include it. The zero will kind of nullify it, or the false will nullify it. <laughs> just missing my closing bracket on the end. I'll just say yes. Very useful here. You can see it's just missing the uh, the end parenthesis on the end there. But Excel is gonna gonna let me off. It's gonna give me a little ticking off. But uh, put that closing bracket or parenthesis in for me. Okay, and there's our value. I will assume that's okay. <laughs> uh, just shy of nine thousand there. Now, one other thing I was gonna mention is just looking at modifying this function. I, gonna, I mentioned earlier that the multiply symbol, the asterisk, works a bit like the AND logic. What we could do is we could plot the plus in there instead, which would make use of the OR logic. So if it's Dodds OR an order for seafood, then add it up. And this scenario value is going to be a lot harder, lot, uh, lot larger, sorry, because looking for orders where Dodds was a salesperson and also orders where seafood was the category. We could even get rid for example this last array so we're not actually adding up that order amount and then what we're really doing is just counting the number of orders so here's S for Dodds and Seafood I could switch that back to multiply so and logic got to be Dodds and Seafood and there's seven orders yeah because I'm not using the order amount so you can see just a few examples of some product here and it's power at mainly utilising multiple criteria. But you'll see other uses where some product will be utilised with other functions like if, do lots of testing across two different ranges and, and so and so forth. It really is a very powerful and kind of hidden really in what its, its true use can be. Thank you for watching. Please check out some of our other tutorials at computergargar.com. See you soon.